What do you see? What are you looking at? What do you see for 2019? What do you see for this month? What do you see for your life? Paul said, we don't look at the things which are seen, but we look at the things which are not seen. Well, how can you look at something that is not seen? He says, for the things that we see in this natural realm, they're just temporary, but the things that we can't see with our natural senses, that's what he's ta talking about, those things are eternal. And so what happens is you have a vision for your life. You imagine things, you see things in, 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 your, in your thinking. You, you can imagine what your day tomorrow is going to look like. You can imagine what the rest of this year is going to look like. And if you listen to too much bad news that's out there, uh, that imagination is going to be no hope. It's going to have fear. It's going to be worried about the economy. And as a believer, as a child of God, we live in a different system. We live in a different kingdom. You live in God's kingdom. And so you've got to start listening to God's news, not to the, the world's news, but the good news of the gospel that says God's gonna take care of you, that God has an amazing plan for your life. And so you start imagining that. That's how you see the things that are unseen. You look at the Word of God. So what are you looking at today? Look at the Word. Imagine those good things, and that's life in 90.